It's got no place for reality because that means people have a false sense of security. So imagine, <coughs> they're going into the car, a guy comes up, goes like, give me your money, and they go like this, and the guy goes, and stabs it right through it. And yet, they watch this stuff, they watch that, the guy drops it, and they go, if that happens, I'll dare. The guy goes, ah, they go like this, and the guy's like that. So, there is a lot of gullible people in the world of martial arts. A lot of people don't use their common sense. If people use their common sense, these instructors, they teach zero edge punch, knife up here, this stuff, and hit people to stand up right, bum, 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 bum. right? If people use their common sense, these instructors would have two options. The first option would be go to business, or the second option would be get real. Uh, in Winchum, I have selber ja Winchum gemacht gehabt und uh, diese ganzen <coughs> Druck in Bongsau, Tansau, Haksau uh, und die ganzen Leute, die das so schnell üben, diese Trappings, uh, die funktionieren eigentlich gar nicht auf der Straße. Das, was du machst, das ist ja klassisch. Einfach reinhauen, geradeaus durch, uh, verschiedene Ziele, Mitte, Knie, Kehle, Augen. Um, Wenn ich diese Leute sehe, die wo Show machen und die kriegen verschiedene Drucksituationen und gehen und raus aus der Distanz und gehen wieder rein. Ähm, deine Meinung dazu, das würde ich so gerne wissen, weil ich sage, es funktioniert nicht. Ich hätte gerne deine professionelle Meinung dazu. That's, that's what I would call classical trap. This is classical trap, right? So Bruce went through that stage of elimination. Then he realized it's no good idea to put two hands on the guy. Because <coughs> everything I feel, he feels it. Anytime I'm square, I'm vulnerable. So he realized it's had to get close to implement this. When the closer you get to the opponent, the more dangerous it is. And he had a couple of encounters with some gung fu guys. And one encounter in Seattle, that a lot of people don't know about, they all would think about Wong Jackman. He had an encounter with a guy from Choyla Foot School in Seattle. And this guy was standing with his hands and feet. And Bruce was trying to close in to touch him to trap him. And he just couldn't do it. And later on he said to Jesse, he says, you know, he says, man, he says, I tried to get him to trap that sucker and hat him and blast him. He says, I just couldn't do it. You know, he says, I just don't have any confidence in this stuff anymore. So then he started looking about ways to change it, think about rather stick to the guy. What if I just try that? So what we practice now is really a modification of that to the point that it doesn't exist. So we don't practice classical trap, they practice non-classical trap where there's no any connection. What I mean by that is, I'll trap your hand in the wrong place. I'll put a diversion here that traps your hand there where I hit hand. I'll trap your hands here where I hit low. And I'll trap you at the wrong distance to catch you, to get you to move towards me. So we use trap very similar to the same way a fencer would use trap but with it using his other hand, he'll trap the opponent to cover that line while he disengages. He'll trap him and broke and run him and catch him coming in, or he'll go slow fast. So he'll trap him and run him, he'll trap him and distance, and he'll trap him and set him and so on. So we practice a non-contact trap, what it means you can keep the on-guard stance intact. And if you can keep the on-guard stance intact, that means your ability to move forward and back is far superior to anybody that would have to go square and then come back to square and then come back. So, I hope that answers it. Um, my letzte Frage ist, um, falls, besser gesagt, ich habe auch oft miterlebt, dass Frauen so trainiert wurden, <coughs> wenn ich ein großer, kräftiger Kreis <coughs> angreift, mit Kettenfäuste reingehen, immer aus der Situation rauswenden, reinschlagen. Um, Bei seinem Seminar gab es viele Tritte in den Schritt und äh, Finger Jabs. 
Ich will einfach nur seine professionelle Meinung und äh, sein Tipp für die weiblichen Zuschauer. Äh, wie sollen sie sich verhalten, wenn ein größerer Kerl, kräftiger Kerl angreift? Was wäre die kürzeste und äh, explosivste Art, jemandem dann äh, entgegenzukommen? We was taught and it's really about the uh, and family conscious and it's about women's stuff. Uh, what's you know we had some cakes and uh, the finger checks to the eye. Uh, what's your professional uh, recommendation for women? How should they? See, I really think this. I think this approach suits women pretty well because. They don't have to use a lot of strength. They could just poke a finger into the eye and just kick to the groin and stamp on the knee. So <coughs> it's not as if you have to use excessive strength or power. That's the good thing about attacking these targets. The targets are soft targets that you don't have to use a lot of power. I mean, they say a kneecap will break at what? Six kilos, three pounds. Three pounds of pressure, a kneecap will break. So a kid. Could break an adult's knee. So it suits, suits women, you know, but still you have to be trained. This is the more fruit suit. To make it work, you still have to be trained. Chain punching is okay, but you've got to remember that's a lot of punches to finish it. And you have to, you know, it might not do it, you know. If you draw the energy, keep it fine. <coughs> okay, for me. Thank you for the interview. Pleasure. Thank you for the amazing seminar. Well, and I hope to see you again. Consider, I felt unwell yeah. with this. Thank um, you very much. I was determined I was going to finish it and do it. Yeah. Well or unwell. Thank you. And, and I've done it. I'll finish it forever. Bon appetit. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you said something? <laughs>